This video brought to you by Michelle K, your number one hardworking Long Beach realtor, provides personal one-on-one -on -one service and has earned the trust and loyalty of hundreds and hundreds of clients. Minnesota Twins pitcher, one of our good buddies, friend of the show, recurring guest. Recurring. Congrats. Thank you. What's more important to you, being on the show twice here or your first major league win last season? Well. Is it close? I mean, I've done this twice, I've only won once. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's bigger, Joe Maurer in Minnesota or Ichiro in Seattle? Ooh, good question, John. I'm going to give the advantage to Joe. Wow. Because he stayed there his whole his hometown, yeah. Ooh, true. But wait, did Ichiro, Ichiro leave or get Ichiro, traded? Doesn't matter. Ichiro went to New York, then went to Miami. But came back. came back. Prodigal son. I did meet Ichiro in spring training. You did? Awesome. Guy speaks way better English than he lets on. Really? Oh, absolutely. So he's I'm just not, fooling everyone. I'm yeah. not surprised he, one he, bit. Yeah, he's just like, I just don't like doing that interview. <laughs> so he uses the Japanese translator. I'm so, not surprised So we were bit. talking to him, and it was like, Hey, Ichiro, like, do you still have a house here? He's like, yeah, I have two houses. I have a house in um, Peoria, Arizona, where the Mariners do spring training. He said, and I have a house in Seattle still. It's like, oh, okay, that's cool. And they're like, yeah, but, like, what about in Japan? He goes, no, 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 no house in Japan. I'm like, really? He goes, I own a hotel. I live on the top floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you're hip with music like I am, Chase, but there's a song that goes cold like Minnesota. Am I right? Ooh, yeah, true. Oh, what's the guy's name? I Lil Yachty. Call like Minnesota. Call like Minnesota. It's pretty hip. Hey, you should add that as your as your walkout. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hip. Who is your favorite player to watch right now? To watch right now. Mm, Walker Bueller's throwing the ball really well. Guy's little. I know. I mean, he's not he's not little, but he's not like big. But that's a big arm. Why does he throw so hard? I don't understand. God. Yeah, it's God given, I guess. Man. What happened to you? <laughs> I'm gifted in other areas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in camp with the Dodgers as a non-roster invite after I won a championship in Rancho Cucamonga. So when you're in camp, there's like, you know, the closed door meetings, kind of like the good morning, go over the agenda for the day, and then you usually meet rookies. You don't usually talk about your own stuff. They usually have the catcher that caught you the year prior talk about you know, your stuff on the mound. And my catcher from A-ball wasn't in big league camp. And in front of the entire Dodgers clubhouse, I was like, Doc, I'll be honest with you, I'm like your standard vanilla righty. I've got a, I got four pitches, and I mix them, I throw them off for strikes. And everybody starts laughing, mm -hmm. and A.J. Ellis called me the ice cream man. And AJ, <laughs> and A.J. Ellis, when he was catching me, he was like, yeah, just a little scoop of vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, sick. and then all of a sudden, Greg Maddox pokes his head out of the back. No. He was an, a special assistant, and he goes, that works. You could have heard a pin drop in that room. Oh, and then, no man, way. And That's all Greg, time, bro. Greg, Greg and I became pretty good friends through um, the season. We played golf together a bunch. And we're not friends, but like he's been a mentor to me. You got his phone number. I do. That's sick. So, yeah. We'll get him on the show soon. Yeah. Oh, we're looking. We, we, we need to force him for golf. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a putt, and he goes, D, come here. He goes, what do you think this putt's going to do? And I get behind him. I'm like looking. He just, <laughs> just farts on me. <laughs> and, I, and I laugh it off, and I'm like, <laughs> What the heck? Like, come on, man. He's like, are you kidding and me? And he goes, all right, good. As long as you can laugh at fart jokes or else we wouldn't be able to be friends. We were in Tulsa, so the AA affiliate of the Dodgers. I started that year 0-2, and, and then I finished that year 14-3. and Is that good? Greg can't – yeah, whoops. We're in the video room kind of dissecting some film, and pitching coordinator leaves, and it's just me and him. And he closes the door. He goes, let's talk about this. He's like, all right. And he goes – you're good, but I need you to know why you're good. And so we started talking about uh, reading swings and like, where is this hitter covering? Where is this? Where are the tendencies? This and that. And after 45 minutes of him and I just you know, reading swings and teaching me how to do this, I look at him and I was like, man, you really were out there playing chess and everybody else was playing checkers. And he just kind of laughs and I was like, I got, that's where I'm trying to get to. He goes, you haven't even bought the board yet, kid. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so like, he'll, he'll, he'll invest in you, and then he'll humble you real quick. So, but he's he's been incredible. My Wilson Bruins came a little short, so much as it pains me. Wow, you kind of look good well. in the blue and gold, brother. Yeah, I'm out of eligibility. <laughs>